Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video, we're going to learn about conditional probability and independence. Alright, so conditional probability is the probability that one event happens given that another event is known to have happened. The conditional probability that event B happens given that event A happened is denoted as the probability of B given A. So that vertical line, we're going to read that as given. Uh, if we are calculating conditional probability, so to find the conditional probability of the probability of A given B, we would use this formula, uh, the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. And remember the and is that intersection symbol. Um, so it would be the probability of both events occur divided by the probability that the given event occurs. And independence, if knowing whether or not one event has occurred does not change the probability that the other event will happen, then those events are independent. In other words, events A and B are independent if the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A given not B or is equal to the probability of A. Or I could do the probability of B given A equals the probability of B given not A, which is also equal to the probability of B. They have to be equal. All right. Um, conditional probability in two-way tables. So we have favorite season and allergies. In the northeastern United States, the summer can be particularly difficult for allergy sufferers. Among other questions, the census at school survey asked students their favorite season and whether they have allergies. The two-way table below summarizes the responses of 426 high school students randomly selected from among all those in the northeastern U.S., who answered the survey. Suppose we randomly select one of these 426 students, define events A as has allergies, S as favorite season is summer, and F as favorite season is fall. Find the probability of S given A. Describe this probability in words. So the probability of S given A, I'm going to write this out like in word form. This would be the probability that the favorite season is summer given they have allergies. All right, so I'm going to go to favorite season is summer and they have allergies. Where are they both, which is 71, divided by the total for has allergies. So this would be 171 out of 189, which works out to be 0.376. Now, to interpret this, we would say, given that a randomly chosen person has allergies, there is a 37.6% chance summer is their favorite season. Part B, given that the chosen person did not choose fall, what is the probability that this person has allergies? Write your answer as a probability statement using the correct notation for the events. So has allergies given their favorite season is not fall. Okay, and so you have to be careful because this is kind of written in reverse order of how you would write it. So like the given piece always comes after that line. All right, so in symbolic form, this would be A for allergies given F is fall, but fall complement because it's not fall. All right, so I'm looking for allergies and not fall, so spring, summer, and winter that have allergies, divided by the total for seasons that are not fall. So I'm looking at the seasons that aren't fall totals. So I'm going to do 47 plus 71 plus 23 over 82 plus 173 plus 52 which gives me 141 over 307, and I get 0.459. All right, calculating conditional probabilities. In one large city, 40% of all households own a dog, 32% own a cat, and 18% own both. Suppose we randomly select a household and record which type of pet is owned by each household. Here is a Venn diagram showing the relevant events and probabilities. Okay, so remember with a Venn diagram that 18% is where you will want to start in the middle. Uh, the total for dogs is 40%, but I have 18% and 22% together make the 40%. Um, what is the probability that a randomly selected resident who owns a cat also owns a dog? So given they own a cat, they own a dog. So the probability they own a dog given they own a cat. This would be the probability of D given C. So if I'm using my formula, it's the probability of D and C divided by the probability of C. So 
and the, that they own both is 0.18 over the probability they own a cat is 32% or you could add up the 18% and the 14% um, but it's 0.18 over 0.32 which gives us 0.5625. Alright, checking for independence. Is there a relationship between favorite summer and having allergies? Summer is a difficult season for allergy sufferers in the northeastern United States. Data on favorite season of the year and allergies were obtained from a random sample of 426 students from the north, northeastern U.S. and reported at the Census at School survey. Suppose we choose one of the students in the sample at random. Are the event's favorite season is summer and has allergies independent? So we already calculated the um, probability of the favorite season is summer given they have allergies. And it was 71 out of 189, which came out to be 0.376. So I'm going to check the other statements. If they're independent, then those other statements should be true. The probability their favorite season is summer, given they don't have allergies, should also be 0.376. So I'm going to do favorite season is summer and they don't have allergies is 102. Divided by the total that they don't have allergies, 237, which gives us 0 0.430. So that is not equal. And then I'm also going to go ahead and check the probability that their favorite season is summer. Um, so it would be the probability of A given B equals the probability of A given not B, which equals the probability of A. You wouldn't need to check all three once you check two and you find they don't work. But I want to show you this one. So favorite season is summer. I'm going to the total that said favorite season is summer is 173 out of the table total of 426. And we get 0 0.406. So we can see that none of those are equal. So because these probabilities are not equal, the event's favorite season is summer and has allergies are not independent. All right, go see Hawks.